Today we are here to talk about waste management in Kansas City and frankly the work that we are doing to build a cleaner city long term. I'm joined by several of my council colleagues today, Councilwoman Raina Park Shaw, Councilwoman Andrea Boo, and Councilman Kevin O'Neill. You hear from all of them, as well as our city manager, Brian Platt, and perhaps others who are up here as well. A few key things that we have to announce today. First, we all recognize that a beautiful and clean city is important for Kansas City. When our neighborhoods are clean of, and free of blight, our community is safer, healthier, and happier. First, as you've heard, and thanks to leadership of folks like Councilwoman Heather Hall, Councilwoman Melissa Robinson, and many others, we're excited to announce that we will have our brand new recycling carts rolling out to Kansas City starting on May 1st. So recycling carts with lids, new bins coming out starting May 1st. We'll give you more information about deployment of that, but we think that is something that's going to be incredibly important. No longer will you see paper flying throughout your neighborhood every recycling collection day. And this is just the beginning. We have our recycling cart program launching this year. We look forward to launching our trash cart program soon. So having bins and lids that cover our trash and recycling finally will be a thing in Kansas City. We heard your request loud and clear, and we're also working on ways to make sure we're more sustainable in connection with how we address our waste management. Composting is something that many American cities have used, and indeed folks are using it in Kansas City to make sure that we're reducing the amount of food waste that goes into our trash. Our Public Works Director, Michael Shaw, can tell you that much of our waste each year is actually food that is thrown out in people's trash each and every day. So with that, we're proud to announce that we've received a $300,000 grant from the United States Department of Agriculture toward helping us in Kansas City build a composting program that will help start at least with hundreds of community members begin the work towards composting. And let our goal be clear. We hope to have, in the same way we have a robust recycling and trash and waste program, we hope to have a robust citywide composting program to make sure that we're being sustainable long term with our food waste in Kansas City. In addition to these efforts, we continue to have our Clean Up KC program. And I want to say particular thanks to Councilwoman Raina Park Shaw, who I know was instrumental in making sure we could launch that program. It, it provides Kansas Cityans with employment at a livable wage and for those who are facing homelessness to help beautify our neighborhoods and ultimately our community. Each day in Kansas City, we have folks who are getting good pay to do important work in areas of our city that need to be cleaned up. We will continue to have our Clean Up KC program, and we hope to see it grow further and further as time goes on. Now I'd like to introduce Councilwoman Raina Park Shaw to tell you more about Clean Up KC, but I'll just leave with this. We want to make sure that as we're doing big events in Kansas City, the NFL Draft, the World Cup in 2026, and events large and small in between, that we are building a cleaner city one that is sustainable, and one where we make sure whatever neighborhood concerns exist, including trash ranging from small waste to bulky items, that we're doing all that we can to make sure Kansas City is as clean as possible. I thank our city staff for their commitment, my colleagues on city council, and now we will hear from all of them, starting with Councilwoman Raina Park Show. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As he stated, I'm Councilwoman Raina Park Shaw, and, and I am really excited about what we are talking about today because ultimately we listen. We have listened. And the Clean Up KC program actually uh, was a brainchild out of a neighborhood meeting that I attended. And we have had such success since its inception back in August. In that six month time frame, the Clean Up KC crews, which is uh, comprised of seven different organizations throughout the community, including two groups, uh, the Hope Faith and Creative Innovative, which work specifically with our unhoused population, have cleaned up in that six month time frame, 200,000 pounds of litter and trash throughout Kansas City. That's the equivalent of about 1,000 households over a year's time. So in six months, they have made a significant difference. But what I'm most proud about is the fact that we have been able to connect our unhoused residents with homes, permanent homes. 22 of those individuals have been able to, to receive housing, and that is unprecedented. I think that is an 
excellent opportunity where we have been able to create a win-win for Kansas City where we needed assistance uh, in our public works department and we found individuals that were willing to step up and help us to keep our city clean. So I'm really excited that our council colleagues and the mayor and I um, have approved $600,000 in this next budget cycle to continue that program so that we can continue to see additional success. And now I'm proud to, to introduce um, our colleague, Andrea Boo, who will talk about the composting program. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Parkshaw. Um, it is my pleasure to talk about the composting program that um, the mayor mentioned. Uh, this, um, it will be a neighborhood compost program. Uh, the city received $300,000 from the USDA composting and food reduction pilot program, and the city will match with an additional $250,000. The goal of this program is to decrease the food waste entering our landfills, to make compost readily accessible for urban agriculture uses, to reduce dependence on landfills and artificial fertilizers, and improve soil quality and rainwater absorption. Uh, this is a very exciting new program uh, that we will make accessible to our citizens through um, not only a subscription uh, service to the front door, but also 10 sites throughout the city that are drop-off sites. Um, Additionally, this program should uh, prove to divert 52 tons of food waste from local landfills and create 1,000 new composters in the first year. This is a very exciting program. It aligns with our, um, our um, climate, re uh, climate protection and resiliency plan, and I am so proud that this is a next step in fulfilling our go goals and implementing um, those programs and plans to protect our environment and to reduce our dependency on our landfills. And I think now I will turn it over to Councilman Kevin O'Neill. Well, you know, when you get invited to talk trash, you got to show up. Who would want to miss that? Um, I do want to talk about the Northland, and for, for several years we've been a little neglected on our bulky pickups, but we have now funded an an equitable plan that's going to go everywhere in the city. You're going to be able to get your bulky uh, pickups on the day of your trash pickup. So you can call on a Monday if you have a Wednesday pickup and, and that'll be there for you to, to get rid of some of the bulky items, which I think is a great part. Um, one of the things I'm asked in all the neighborhood meetings I go to is what are we doing about the trash pickup? And I am so excited that I can now go to those meetings and actually talk about a real plan. We're working more with MoDOT now to pick up the uh, litter on the side. The, uh, we've, we've teamed with uh, Faith Hope and um, 12th Street Heritage to work on getting people out. We're, we're actually even using municipal detention center uh, inmates to assist with us. Um, each day, we're getting more and more involved in this. And, and I think with all of the things coming up that everybody's mentioned, the NFL draft, FIFA, we have to clean this city up. I mean, it literally is the number one topic right behind violence at every neighborhood meeting I go. So I'm hoping this uh, answers some of those questions to the neighborhoods, and thank you very much. I am uh, going to introduce the, the great city manager, because everything's great. <laughs> Everything is great. I hope that's on my review. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Uh, just want to talk a little bit about the new recycling carts that we will be distributing to uh, uh, residential households citywide. So we've got one here. As you can see, it's much larger than your previous uh, recycling bins and carts that you've had before. And there are a lot of benefits to this. The, the, the main one is that we're now able to make it easier to recycle more materials. There's more space in your bin to uh, add more recyclables into that bin. The lid on the top is also very important to us. One of the big challenges that we're seeing and we're noticing that's causing more trash and debris and litter on our streets is our recycling bins right now are open topped. And when the wind blows, the recyclables just blow all over the neighborhood. And I go out personally and I pick it up around my neighborhood and that's one of the ways that we're noticing these things is that people in our city are going out and picking up trash and telling us about the things that they're finding and thinking about ways to improve it. These carts will be distributed starting May 1st 
uh, to all, they are available for free to all residential households that have curbside collection in Kansas City. Uh, they are not required, they are optional if you would like one. We'll have more information coming out soon about how you can request one of those, but starting May 1st, uh, we'll have those coming out. We also uh, have begun the process for the same type of carts for trash that will be a few months down the road, uh, but we're thinking long term about the best ways to capture more waste in containers and get them off of our streets and out of our houses. Uh, another great thing that we're very excited about is this year's Great Kansas City Cleanup. Uh, it will be the weekend of Earth Day, April 21st to 23rd. Uh, there is a website, kcmo.gov slash cleanup, where you can sign up to volunteer at cleanup events all over the city. It's not just in parks. It's in neighborhoods, it's on city streets, it's in areas just in our city that we see a lot of trash. People in the city really want to help and participate and be a part of the solution here. And this is our option and our opportunity to do that. I'm really excited about it. Uh, everybody who participates in that will, of course, get gloves and, and shirts and, and uh, anything you need to collect waste. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, our highways, the, the biggest the, the biggest uh, complaint that we get on the city side is actually on our highways, about all the trash and debris along our highways. And uh, we've been working to partner with MoDOT over the last couple of years, but uh, it just hasn't been enough. So we've, we're hiring our own contractors, we've got our own volunteer groups going out, and just adding more crews to make sure that we're collecting trash uh, and cleaning up our highways and bringing them to the level that they should be. Uh, one of our, our uh, teams was out actually this week and, and had some great evidence of before and after shots that we're going to be sharing soon as well. So we're really excited about all that. Uh, I think we're going to take questions. Yeah. Yep. You wanna... All right. Any questions for anyone? Hearing none, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing a cleaner KC ahead. And thank you to everyone who plays an important role with it, particularly our hardworking Kansas City employees. Thank you all.